Hang on, I'll drive. The Blanca is in the business of giving life meaning. And it was a choice land. A captured rebel being held in the village of Colta might have valuable intel on Liuri and El Polito. Rescue him from the cartel and find out what he knows. Frag out. Come in here to Culeros. They know we're here. Engaging Tango. Frag out. They're trying to get away in the truck. Give Heads up, we've got a cartel resupply convoy on the road. Looks like one food truck with escorts. Shit, man down. Frag out. Come in here to Culeros. Man down. You guys ready? Fire. You with me, man? I'll be right there. Up hostiles in the area. Yo, cartel gunman, inside the firing post. The drone is up. The signal's all bad. They're jamming the drone. Frag out. Looks like the
Took you so long. Hold up, we got hostile activity. Hey, we got a narco in the firing post. Sorry about this, brother, but I gotta have the car out. Uh, who the Buckle fuck up, really, people. Banda? But the shit that could go down when you don't put your weapon on safe is a hell of a lot worse than the gingivitis you get from not flossing. I mean, you don't want to be the asshole who accidentally shoots your homie in the leg or something. No, mind me. Or imagine being the motherfucker who gives away his position when... Damn, haven't seen anything like this since I was in the sandbox. Sandbags, barbed wire, observation posts. The rebels must be given Santa block of hell. Bet these cartel assholes never thought they'd be spending their time dodging snipers and IEDs. Karma sure can be a bitch sometimes. What the hell happened here? GPS says the place is named Yo Bill. I don't see any signs of fighting. It's just a ghost town. I suppose either the cartel or the dogs chased everybody off. Given our reputation for being villains, you think more cartel members would wear black? Deploying drone. Roger, let me get in position. Moving Marking to a good captain. sight line. Roger that. Target marked. Ready. Call the shot. Frag out. Oh, the near the They've seen us. Tango down. Tango's on my radar. No 
Looks like more Sicarios want to get some. The cult is still smoldering. Keep an eye out for the rebel that got held. They're going to be on top of us in another few seconds. What do we do? Frag out. Get some. Roger. Yo, I got a weapon. Wait. Nice. Frag out. Come in here to Culeros. Okay, Romano? What do you want from me? Yuri and Polito, the fuckers who tortured you. We're here to make them pay for what they did. But we need to know where they took you. We didn't travel far. I... I remember that much. And it was quiet. Out in the country, somewhere. There... There was a smell. Like old animal skins. That's all I know. I... I'm sorry. It's alright. At least now we know they're close by. Gracias. One less bad guy. Nomad, we finally got a 20 on Yuri and Polito. The activity cross-referenced the car's GPS with that description you got from the prisoner. They're at a hunting lodge. Rumor has it they use that spot for their enhanced interrogation. Send us the location and we'll take care of it. Put them in the ground for me. Make sure they feel the pain. <laughs> Hang in there, I'm coming to you. Tango's here. Shift position. Pick up. Copy that. Roger that. I'll pilot. You call that unit cohesion? That's close for us.
We've got a location on Liuri and El Polito. Let's pay these fuckers back for what they did to Sandoval. I don't Let's roll. Deal, so long as they both end up dead. Open fire. Roger. Advance on the lodge. Stay alert. That's a hostile presence. Stay there. In. Watch those doorways and corners. Rally on me. Roger that. I need you there. Roger. Go. Copy that. Tangos are marked. What's the word? Fire. We'll go. Let the rebels know where to find these supplies. They could pay us back later. This must be where Sandoval cashed in. Bowman said they kept him alive for 47 hours. Tough son of a bitch held out for a long time. I feel like he was waiting for us to come get him. Know. We're real fucking Who late. You before you met? Time to make it right. Mamacita, I was nobody. Nothing. I could not have even imagined a life so deep, a love so full as the love I have with you. Huh. God, I feel the same. I was half a person before I met you. I was a faded image, out of focus, until I could see myself through your eyes. Damn. Just now, when I was breaking that man's hands, I was imagining that he had tried to touch you. Come on. You're such a jealous man. 
And each finger I broke was punishment for a sin those hands had committed against you. Gordo, you're going to make me cry. I can't. I have a confession. You know you can tell me anything. <laughs> Go down. Uh, Whoever the fuck you are, I'm gonna bleed you slow. Yuri is down. Hold up. Frag out. Got new tangles on my radar. You know how in the movies people always act like revenge isn't satisfying? Like it doesn't make them feel any better? Sure. Well, I feel fucking great. Taking out that lovey-dovey horror show also earned us some points with the locals. Make contact when you find something new. Bowman out. Polito killed. Our security infrastructure was being attacked. It made me question if La Plaga, our head sicario, was up to the task. Or if he was too distracted with social media antics. Are you too busy chasing pussy on the internet to do your fucking job? Or is fucking your job? No, jefe. He's my brother, Sueño. I will keep him in line. La Plaga got the message. Too well. He doubled down. Whoever's behind this, know that we will find you. Know that for every one of us you kill, we will kill ten civilians at random. There is no such thing as innocent to me. The little pendejo had no idea how much damage he had just caused.
Francisco Ricardo Munguía. El muro. The wall. The wall between me and my enemies. The wall between me and death. We were born hours apart in the same village. As boys, we were as poor as the rats that scrambled across our dirt floor. Our huts in the shadows of the hilltop mansions, where the narco bosses lived like conquerors. El Muro took a different path. He joined the army. Special forces. He rose through the ranks, helped to protect the local narcos, was paid in cocaine and money along with promotions. When we met again, Francisco, hermano, why are you still in the army? You and me together, we could rule. We will protect each other, as we did when we were boys. We will share, like brothers. The Santa Blanca Security Forces. Run by El Muro, childhood friend and personal bodyguard to El Sueño. El Muro means the wall, as in no one gets over it, no one gets under it, no one gets around it. SBC Security Forces recruit hard and train harder. Instructors from Israel, South Africa, Russia, and unfortunately, even the good old US of A. Polygraphs, first of every month. Pass, you pick up your paycheck. Fail? Yeah. Don't fail. Even so, El Muro has a polygraph system of his own. These Sicarios, aka gunmen, get intense training in marksmanship, surveillance, driving. Two-thirds wash out to become... Hakones. The guys who make it get assigned to various regions as enforcers, guards for labs and shipments, hitmen. Some become drivers, surveillance specialists, spies, and torturers. Just below El Muro is Santa Blanca's head Sicario, La Plaga, the plague. You may ask, how does a show-off party boy rise to be the second in command of Santa Blanca security? Answer, Spur. La Plaga is El Muro's little brother, but don't kid yourselves. He's the nastiest motherfucker on the internet, and yes, I have been on 4chan. Don't worry, you'll see what I'm talking about. A Bolivian journalist named Lupe Vera has been investigating the disappearances in San Mateo for several months. Track her down and find out what she knows. Coming up on the journalist's last known location. I got you, Benson. Hold on. Fucking hell. We're coming up on the journalist's last known location. 
Let's track her down and find out what she knows about the missing people. We gotta figure the cartels around, looking for her too. Hola, camaradas. What do you want, gringo? We're looking for a journalist named Lupe Vera. So are we, but it's too late. The cartel has her. They've taken her back to her base. You planning a rescue? Yes, but it would be suicide. The outpost is heavily guarded and I don't have enough troops. You do now. You need to get the Vera. Whatever it takes. Then let's go. We haven't got much time. Anden, hermanos. Chosen of our people and ninja okay, chosen is more. The rebel forces fight for justice for the Bolivian people. We have seen the wrong done to you, and we have punished those who have hurt you. But there are more foreign criminals in our country, killing our people, raping our land. And we will bring them to justice, and we will punish them, just as we did Judy and Polito. Kumpas! Take up your rifles. Join us in our righteous battle. Together, we will create the future that we deserve. Together, we can build a new Bolivia. This is a message from the Free River Forces of Bolivia. By completing our I'm opening fire. Fucking hell! Ready? Some cartel metal over here. It's gonna break some poor thugs' heart to use this. Target down. journalism after this shit. To whom do I owe my rescue? We're working with Pakatari. We need any info you got on the people who are disappearing. There is a rebel safe house near here. Everything I have on Los Desaparecidos is there. Then let's go get it. Hostile down. Time we put Carzita's resort out of business.
Javier Coronel Bayardo. Which is a mouthful, so let's call him what his rich friends do. Carzita. He's a Mepi, a Mexican preppy, or a Prepsican, if you prefer. His main achievement in life was to win the sperm lottery. Gonzalo Coronel Bayardo, telecom billionaire, is his daddy. Gave Sunny everything. Money, cars, education, BA from Harvard, MBA Wharton Business, D Phil from Oxford to acquire a little sophistication and some good English clothes. Now he gets his own resort to run. This used to be a national park, but Santa Blanca turned it into an exclusive resort. It's here that Carzita does what Carzita does.